doing a trade live right now in the Mojo Day Trading Room. I'm Pro Trader Mike. Hello, everyone. Show you into my little family, my community. You know, when you're a professional golfer, they were saying yesterday, your caddy. You spend more time with your caddy than you do with your family. A lot, dude, you know? Like me and my trade room, dude, I'm with them in the trenches all day long. It's kind of like my family. Let's head on over there. We say hello to the chat room. What's going on, guys? In the chat, we're doing a little trade right now at 9.19 on uh, SQQ in the futures. Perfect. 9.20, 9.21 as I speak. And we're going to show you how to trade the bear markets. So that's what Mojo does. So Mojo came into the day. Most people got a little oosh <clears throat> hit by that wave today. Not Mojo. Mojo rode the wave. See? SQQ. That's what we do. This. Got a nice one from Uncle Adam. Uncle Adam says today in the Mojo Day Trading Room, Hey Mojo, I'm making my way through your futures course videos. I just felt the need to say I'm learning so much. Every day I'm just floored by the amount of knowledge I didn't have at the start of the day. Everything you say not to do, I've done and wondered why it didn't work out. I can easily see that learning from you is going to be the best decisions of my life. And that's Mr. Adam. Uh, he ain't the only one, guys. See, I'm not going to... You're not going to see me on YouTube before the next video. Paying for the ad. Like some of my competitors do. <clears throat> I don't need to show you. I make $20,000, $50,000 a day because like the other guys... It's just unrealistic. Most people don't trade like that. It takes years and years and years of acumen to be able to do that and nail it all the time. And it just is what it is, you know? So I got my morning routine right here. Like Colin Morikawa, who won the... Uh, you go watch his interview Saturday night after the... Um, watch his interview, Colin Morikawa, Saturday night after he... Uh, first place going in and they said to him you know you're nervous you're gonna go into the next day he's like no I got my routine I got my routine and I just follow my routine I wake up in the morning I do the same thing whether it's a whether it's a uh, tournament like that you know I get up there like a tournament like that or you know just a regular tournament I just do the same thing all the time Head on over to my Twitter. If you're not following me, you should follow me on Twitter. Here's the performance on a hundred thousand dollar funded trading account right here. You could see in 15 days, not one loss in the account on 21 trades to hit 6,000 with an average of 404 a trade. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, you can come on over to the mode, show you how to trade the futures so you can don't have to rely on stocks in a bear market to be profitable and the number one best day trader right here this is a good article right here a lot of the things they say is what mojo does and preaches um i give them a, a big thumbs up the demons and how to overcome them have a formal trading plan absolutely mojo has outcome goals process goals and self-belief and patience as tiger woods coach sports psychologist dr geo valiente says tiger woods is the uh, epitome of sports psychology how he has the outcome goals you know to beat jack nicholas's record and do it in a process over a period of time and has the self-belief like nobody else and the patience to do so setting high lofty goals that may not be achievable but are exciting to go through the process to achieve that's my formal training plan for uh golf life trading everything right 
have a simple one page visibility trading plan in sight during the day, right here, boom, right there, in sight, right there, boom, boom, my trading plan, right there in sight, oh my gosh, I got it right there, scan the stocks on my universe, I only trade one stock, but it's correlated to two or three other stocks, so I follow those as well. Keep a trading journal. Woohoo! Look at my trading journal. Bam! It's a whole book, baby. There's my trading journal. Oh, yeah. Better ask somebody. I like that. A trading coach to work with weekly. Now, most of you don't have that. But guess what? I'm a trading coach. I coach like Uncle Adam in the room. A lot of guys, dudes. You come over here to Mojo Day Trading. Come right over to the coaching, right there. I coach you, $2.99 a month, $5.99 a quarter, to about $2,000 a year. Let's go to town, let's make millions together. Who are you? Let's make tens of thousands together. Who are you? Let's make a lot. You got the brains, I got, you got the brawn, I got the brains, let's make lots of money. You know what, I love that song, baby. That's Pep, the Pep Shop Boy. You got, you got the brawn, I got the brains, let's make lots of money. <laughs> let's do that right now. Head back over to the room. So I do my morning routine right there, like a channel. Then I do my trading plan, patience, patience, patience. I just trade the futures now. A couple of stocks here and there for fun. Overnights on UVXY like that. Held that overnight from 887 this morning. It was 905, it's 930 right now. UV, look at that. Woke up this morning to unrealized gains. Because the futures was dumping like a chumping. And then AEHR, Mojo Rocket Ship Swing at 297 taken off right there. Here's KMAC. KMAC says something nice about Mojo too, dudes. Let's check out what KMAC, KMAC says. Oh, wait a second. Coffee's so good. So we're gonna go over and listen to how KMAC and you all should be trading in the bear markets. This is how you trade the bear markets. Listen, wow, wow, wow. I just started to watch the movie, sir. Thank you so much for that gut-wrenching and real stuff. This is what matters. You can count on me to be back. Thanks, Mike, means more to me than you know. It was no accident you reached out to me. I must admit, first was doubtful, change. I buried my own personal lives, re-accepted the truth I knew. And I could make the putt. I could change my motto. And I'm taking my grandson on a trip, trip camp this week. After I finish my obligations, I'll be on board. You got me now. You promised to coach me, and I'll be a student. Boom. Then we got Steven right here, pro trader X. He's, but he's not. He's changing his name though to X Man, pro trader X Man or something like that. You didn't do that, dude. Do I have to change it for you? I think I have to change it. I think I gotta change it for you, dude. Didn't you? I gotta change it. You pro trader X man. I think you said you like that. So now you X man. I changed it for you. Beautiful. Pro trader X man is gonna change his avatar to like an X man. So we're nailing this A E H R right here. Thousand shares at four seventy. Uh, what is that? Four up twenty five dollars. Oh, that's Oxbridge. Look, they have new things in the room. Stickers, Wumpus, Wumpus stickers. Trading, 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 trading. Ooh, hit by the trading. Here we go, SPCE at 3086 through Heinz 31. There's a good trade. 
3140. Ooh, 32. We got 32 out of it. That was a good trade. There's a high 3210. Yay. Nailed that one. Nailed Wish at 935. Went to 6070. Here we go. Pro Trader X Men. Hey, Mike. This is what he wrote in the room today. I just wanted to say thanks. Our, folk, our first coaching session went really well. It really helped me to actualize the lessons from your classes. I keep finding out you're 100% right about things, like trading too long in the futures and giving your winnings back, etc. Um, so I'm really taking to heart the discipline strategies you've taught me. Looking forward to our next coaching like that and then with Lonson again ooh 907 I wish it would come right back down to there dudes oh do I wish it would come back down to there oh do I wish went right back to 920 from there oh I wish it went back goes back there 924 925 926 927 928 929 woo big win that's how you trade the futures and that's how you do it. So yeah, that best trader article. Let's finish up on that action. So they said, uh, study your trades. We do that all the time. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What can I do better? Why did I even do it? <clears throat> Why did I even do it? Where did it happen? Was there a better situation? Just some of the things you have to ask yourself. Identify your best trading tactic. I trade one stock, one futures contract, that's it. I make money, it takes a short period of time. I shut it off, everything else is just for fun. There's two things you need to use a simulator for. Let me tell you, okay? Because you are no different from the much, let me tell you. But I've been doing it for 30 years, so I have my wall of titanium and armor. It's a little bit stronger than yours. Most of the, out of a million traders out there, I'm in the top 0.1% top of trading armor. That's like, you can poom poom. You know, I don't put the emotion into the trading. DGF, MFH. I don't give an F because I'm MFH, mother F and hustle like Snoop Dogg does in the video. And uh, I just make the moolah with the trading system that works over and over and over. One thing, over and over and over. That's it. Nothing else works. I've tried several different, doing two things at once, didn't work. Tried doing charts. Everyone looks at charts. Tried charts. Charts didn't work. So from journaling, studying the trades, uh, starting small, and judge the way you trade, not by your P&L, eh, I don't agree with number two. Everything starts in the simulator. So you do the simulator and you prove on fake money that you can make money. Then switch it live. Your emotions will go right into the first tray. You'll be like, let me press the button. Okay. Nailed it. Ah, you'll nail it. Then you'll loosen up. Then you'll hit another one. one. Wow. Then you'll ring the register. And then you'll be like, dude, okay, let's, you know, live is working. And now I'm up for the day. Like right now, if I wanted to show you how to trade, I would go on a simulator after I made money. And it wouldn't risk any of my profits for the day. Because if I made more money as a trader after being done for the day, it's like, I'm an alcoholic and I stopped drinking, but I only had a half a bottle. Didn't drink the whole bottle. It's okay. It's not okay. 
Once you're done for the day, you're done for the day. Go on a simulator. Drink Heineken. They have the new Heineken cans. For the summer, there's no alcohol in it. Oh, dude. You could be like a champion, dude. Just pound them babies away. You know what I'm saying? It's simulator. It's not real. Doesn't harm anything. There you go. So that you gotta really use a simulator a lot. How do you think the astronauts, they're only in outer space for a couple of minutes, man. They're in the simulator a lot, dude. The golfer, ask me, I know. Dude, take me to drive shack and then take, I'll go there every day, but I'm only on the course for four hours. I'm at drive shack for 40 hours on the simulator. There you go. Don't you think you should master the simulator, dude? So many companies want to give you their platform and their simulator. Identify your best trading tactic. Trade one thing only and do it good. Don't be bullish. Don't be bearish. Just be right. That's my motto. And investing look to the left is inherently risky. Nobody wins. Everyone loses their money. And that's just really the... The gist of it, dude. That's why only two people watch my video. Because there's no traders left in the world. Who's taking all their money? Mojos are doing pretty good. How you doing, Mojos? You doing good, X-Man in the room? You taking some moolah from people? Who else is taking? Master Batman always takes moolah from people. All my master traders, there's eight of them. Master Batman, he's been on subscription. He's lifetime. Lifetime. Uh, Foster, five years. Ooh, X-Man. Master Hopper started his subscription in 2012. Nine years ago. JC, five years ago. Six, maybe. Master Mar, seven or eight years with Mojo. Master Hines, 2013, the first millionaire after Allen. Allen's gone. He was the first trader in 2010, 11 years ago. Sully, more than five years. And Master Pro Trader Tugs, who still don't have the nickname. Is that, did I do that? You got to change that. Put the capital T. That's all right. Military guy. Bam. Over five years. In order to become a master trader, they've already done all these things over and over and over. They're on the money team. They meet with their trading coach. Meetings with your trading coach, dude. Ask Pro Trader X Man how big they are, dude. Do you have a trading coach? I'll be your coach. Go to mojodaytrading.com, join the chat room to come trade with me. When I get your subscription, I'll contact you. You can hook, we'll hook up with the coaching. First step, join the team. You join the team, you're on the roster. Go out, you shortstop, you outfield what position you play. Go out there, I'll, I'll, I'll knock a couple right out to you, see what you do. I'll know in two seconds if you're a if you're a ball player or not. Absolutely, come out on the golf course with me. I got an open slot this weekend. You don't even have to hit the ball. Just how you look, your acumen, how your routine is, getting up to hit it, what you do in your pre-shot routine. I already know how what, what kind of golf you are. But come look at the Moj. How the Moj played yesterday. Mode starts off par, 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 birdie. It's a little out of focus. So I shot five, three, four, birdie, four, birdie, four, birdie. That was the, uh, what was that? That was A wedge on, that was the Pebble Beach one? No, that was the other one. Then I hit eight iron, 165 to go two under. Two under on the front right there for a 33. 
first hole it hit an okay drive double check mark means it's an okay drive it went in the fairway but not like i liked it you see two holes later after that par three the triple check mark that drive went exactly the way i wanted it and the check mark on the par three means i hit the green on one and two putt i was even par then i moved up and i hit a great drive then I hit a, a seven wood and I chipped it right next to the pin on the par five right there. Is that the par five? Yeah, and I birdied the first hole right there because there are no par fives for me. So I hit driver seven wood, pin high to the left, chipped it up one inch and tapped it in. Then I hit a, uh, what is that next hole? I hit a five wood, oh, then I got up with a small little par three. I hit a beautiful five wood. The guys were like, I was, I was a god after that shot. Then I hit an A wedge on the green, bang. Then I hit a par, then I hit another A wedge, beautiful putt on the par three uphill. It was a Lynx style course, just like the US Open. Oh, I got people in the room making moolah. Jula. Hello. Julie's ready for some coaching. Who else made money in the room? Oh, simulator's going well. And you hit your goal for 11 hundo for the day. X-Man, 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 hitting goals, being done, doing what he does. That's what he does. Beautiful. Turn it off. Watch the Mojo Show. Turn it off. Don't even look. Who cares what it does? Tomorrow's a new day of two and three cent moves. Yeah, gap and down. Who you know? You need these lists if you like it. If you swing trading, have a visual trading plan in sight and a pre-trade checklist, just like I do in the Mojo. And this guy should Mike come on the show, bro. Tell everybody, man, you got a good trading systems, action plans, and he's available for some coaching too, bro. There you go. Can never have more than great coaches, man. I'd love to go play a couple of rounds with him. Let's go play some 21. Me and you, man, I wanna see your moves. First one to 21. Let's go play nine holes. I'll give you three strokes. None on the par threes. Let's see what you got. Let's go trade head versus head. Hundred thousand. Three lot action on the futures. In thirty minutes. See who can do the best. Let's. What else could we? Let's um. I know what I could beat you with easily. If you live stream, you'll have way more people watching than I live stream. <clears throat> nailed it. You just nailed it. Exactly, dude. Dude, because you're like a big man and with the DOS and all that. And dude, I'm like freaking peen fries. You're the number one best trader, Doc. I'm telling you. But I came in unrealized with, and you're DOS trader. With 19,620 this morning from the overnight newsletter that my subscribers, those master traders, have been with me for a long ass period of time. You know why? Because the newsletter picks work. Look, here's Sunday night, dude. I don't send out picks to send out picks. Let me show you this other one, too. I'll show you all three. Because I'm leery, dude. See, I just got back from a summer trip. That's my newsletter. My hubcap just fell off. Look. Hubcap. And then, oh, my luggage. Oh, there goes the freaking luggage off the top. Can I tell you something what happened, dude? You're going to love this. You're going to love this. You guys listening in the room? You listening? You're gonna love this. So we go to MB, right? For the baseball trip, right? 
we go to MB, and I'm like, dude, I'm driving back at night because I like driving at night because there's no one on the road, dude. Not one car. What the hell should I go to sleep for? I sleep 365 days a year. I go on a road trip once every blue moon. Haven't been on a road trip traveling from state to state in 10 years. I could have traveled for 36 hours, dude, in that car, dude. I was rocking. I'm like, let's go on the road, baby. Let's do it, right? So I'm like, at night, I hated driving there during the day. Traffic. And we went early in the morning by 8, 9 o'clock going into MB. Dude, 17 North, block. Tra dude, there's a lot of traffic on 95, you know what I'm saying? So then I go in late, no traffic. None. Hour into the trip, boom. Forgot the clothes in the hotel. In the drawer in the drawer. I ain't going back. Oh, a lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. It's four in the morning. M whatever. Call him up the next day. I'm like, hello. Left the clothes in the drawer. Can you go check it out, please? Oh, yes. Oh, we'll send them back to you. No problem. Box them up. Sent them all back. Thumbs up, baby. Thumbs up. That was a good thing. I know, dude. It was crazy. I left all my luggage and lost it all. Just like that on the trip. It's funny that that reminded me of it. See? Just got back from the summer trip. Summer trading continues with stocks with much lower daily volumes. My motto is the following. I'm not looking to be bullish and I'm not looking to be bearish. I'm just looking to be right. Done. All these picks did super amazing, dude. 11 of them, dude. Go look from on this newsletter right here. Go mark them down and look, guys, in the room on 7-Eleven. Mark it down and look at all these winners. AHT, Zach Morris, you should have sold it at 605 when I did. AMC, I sold it at 65, it's at 32. All you Wall Street bets guys are in the wrong betting room. Sorry, you're in the wrong room. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I don't know, whatever. Blink, Naked, Con, BBIG from 283 to 505, LED from 1990 to 2505, did 32 out of 32 picks right there, baby. Lonfin Time, top 11 right here, Intelligent, 54 cents, still decent. TBLT, never did that one, came down that morning on bad news. Did my size. And someone asked me about my size at $1.41. Let's check it out. M-Y-S-Z. $1.29 stopping station right there for you. Nothing else needs to be said. Add to that position. It's beautiful. So that's uh, my size. M-Y-S-Z. X-S-P-A went from 148. Went much higher. UTSI, verb, verb went from 220 to 5. Verb, look. Verb, daily chart, right here, went to 397 in the pre-market, it went to 5. It went to 5, and here it's 220, 220 to 5. Zella, 291, Zella. X-E-L-A, actually on the gainers list today, Zella, X-E-L-A, at 3.03, went to, yes, two days ago to 5.38, X-E-L-A, X-E-L-A, 5.38 from 2.91, and AutoWeb at 2.97 went to 3.55, some good picks, some good picks right there. So the next newsletter was on 718, 719, and on 718, I said, good evening, Mojo Swingers. 
because we're swinger. Let's get ready to ring some moolah jula. So I said, you know, good evening. Tonight, this week, I'm holding off on sending out swing picks until I see the sentiment for tomorrow. Who does that? Did you know investing and in everybody loses their money trading? You see that disclaimer next to me? Dude. Ask Ross, dude. He's got it all over his screen right now. Guy's a crazy disclaimer guy now. Never used to be, though. It's weird. He's got a lot of money. So he's already done the research for me. So I put it right up there with him. Thanks. <laughs> dude, Ross trades out of his van now. Like, out of Grateful Dead. He's like traveling across the country. Did you see? He travels across the country. It's amazing. He wakes up. He goes into the garage and gets in the van. Crank, cranks it up. He's got some squirrels in the back. He feeds some nuts. They turn the thing. The bus starts. He freaking pulls that baby out, hits the road, goes across his driveway, parks on the other side in a shaded area, and then trades for the day. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Dude. It's really hysterical, man. It really is hysterical, dude. I, it's, it's freaking hysterical, dude. It's what he does. It's the funniest thing, dude. It is the funniest thing. Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't make that up. Dude, that was his last video I watched. I ain't making it, dude. I ain't making it up. I'll show you, dude. Look. Making a fortune out of the van, dude. Not the van, the bus, dude. The bus, the bus. I hear war. He's got millions of subscribers, dude. Million. Let me show you. That was the bus. Um, 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 right here, maybe. Uh, was that it? Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. See, watch. A little smoky. Right. So, just turn that back up like this, right? Steady, and just go to the first, because it's one gear. Just that way I don't have to turn the handle the first gear, like, yeah, so then just back up like this. That's it, he's on the road, baby. This kid's got over here playing nice and he's a little shady. <laughs> I love Ross, dude. I want to go to visit Ross. Can you invite me, dude? For the freaking weekend, I'll play some golf, hang out, we'll trade on Sunday, Monday. I want to hang out with you for three days and then trade with you only for one. I need trade, I don't have to trade again. We, we don't have no contest, me and Ross. We'll just wear Grateful Dead shirts and we'll trade together. Good idea. Keep it on the wood pile so it gets, doesn't. Get wet when it rains. See, there's the squirrels back there. He can't lift it with one hand because he doesn't have that upper body strength no more from trading. It eliminates muscle mass, dude. The trading. Ross, you better start working at lifting some of those woods, dude. Chopping some wood, bro. That's what he needs to do. He needs to do that. Now he's going to get in. He's going to trade. See, most beginning traders lose money. Look. Look. See, this is true, dude. Look, watch. See, trading is risky. Foggy glass. Click your glasses, brother. Most beginning traders lose money. Yeah, totally, dude. Totally. But he don't have no newsletter and picks them like I know overnights like the moach. So I said, good evening, dudes. Last time I sent this thing out, UVXY was 19 and SQQ was 25. Now UV's 29 and SQQ's 890, man. 
I got some bearish sang. I got right now the futures are red, and I expect a red open and a big down day tomorrow and this week. Cash is king, and I only like stocks that are ETF hedges that are way down from 52-week highs. Grab some Monday, add some Tuesday. We're going to experience some volatility this week, and my overall sentiment is bearish, and we will finish the week red. The last time I sent this newsletter, the prices of the following were versus today. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Down 940 on Codex. Bastard. 847. Eh. Give it a, give it a couple minutes. Take a loss. Don't come back. Cause I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting for that action. What else we got? UV's up eight dollars. Twenty eight percent on UVXY. That's how you trade the bear market. See? You turn into the freaking Hulk. Rah, baby. You, you tap it a couple of times. 27, 28, 29, 30. Then through 30, you come in like a wrecking ball, dude. Right? Right? 32, get my team joining in. Bam, baby. Bam. Then everyone's lined up. Everyone's lined up. We all nail it. All now, then we go out and we buy some some Homer NFTs, baby, as things go right to the moon. Give me a like on that, baby. See how that works? See how it works? Works like a charm. UVXY, new high, 3770, going by the high-low list. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, miracle. Oh, I got to tell my guy that's on the PGA Tour. In it, he's like in Italy. He just came back like from Ireland. He's got some UV. Tell him just be patient, baby. I gotta retake that thing. Come out good. There you go. It's what happens when you get the Mojo Swing Trade newsletter. You're on the money team. You're on the money team. What you guys doing? Hammer, what you got? Hold on, Hammer's got something to say in the chat room. What you got, Hammer? Hammer, and you made money on the trip. Yeah, I made money on that trip, baby. It's at the hotel. Making money at the hotel. That should be a song for sure, dude. We can really make a good song if Rat Pack was here. We'd make a really good song, dude, to that. Making money at the hotel. At the hotel. Hear me at the hotel. Just keep on banging out the hotel, baby. Uh, if my missus was here, she'd come in and close the door. She'd be like, dude, you're crazy, dude. Cut that shit out. With the hotel. My dogs are even coming in. They're like looking at me like, dude, really? You ain't going away to the hotel again for a week, are you? <laughs> Put me in the closet for a week. No. So he says, what? It's been a difficult road, and I'm seeing the light not too far on the distance. You sound like a poet uh, say, saying some romantic poetry to me. I like that. What did you say? You bought 200 shares of NRXP this morning at 1177, sold it at 1376 for a 334 profit. It's his best since 2019 when he first mahun making a kill and kicking the market's ass. I like that, buddy. Thank you. 
Dude, this shit ain't made up, brother. I ain't giving you no updates on how good the mojo does. No, why, dude? You want to come and join? Join the team. Become a funded trader. Don't become a funded trader. MTSL is ripping. Look, check it out. 572 new high. We traded this one this morning. MTSL making a sick ass move. Let's see. MTSL. I don't want to chase that action like I did on stupid Codex. 845 on Codex. Should I bang out a two banger and then freaking. Nah. Used to do that. I'm getting out of it, dude. That's what I'm doing. Getting out of town. At the hotel. At the hotel. What else we got going on in the room? Yeah, not a poet. You know it, baby. You got it, Mr. X-Man. Love the mojo day trading room. What day trading room are you in? I've got some guys that have come from some other day trading rooms that say, dude, it's too hectic, bro. People are throwing crap out in the chat all day long. I can't even follow. I'm looking at my pick. I got to scroll like this just to freaking, where did it go, dude? A million people. That ain't, that ain't the way the mojo room works. Never. I got, I'm the chief, chief pro trader up top. See my badge? I got perks to the room. Batman don't. I ain't giving Batman no hat. Foster no hat. Hopper no hat. JC no hat. Mar no hat. Hines, you already got a hat. I sent it to you. Sully, Nope, and Tugs. None of you guys are getting hats. None. Not the PFG hat. The Mojo hat. You ain't getting that. No way, Jose. Not until you perk up the room, you cricket. Cricket. Boo is dip, dead. Kidding me? They're coming out of the woodwork on that one. Eight fifty two, eight fifty two. Son of a gun, huh? Just like that, chang a wang a bang bang. Who else we got here today? AP, AP in the house. Trader Bo in the house. Bo making money he funded. That's awesome. Sweet. Yes, it's awesome. Brad, Brad and Cannon, Mr. D's nuts. Eric in the house. Finster and Firebird on their way. Look, Pro Trader Fly, he gave me a perk since June. You are the man. Gomez, no perk on the room. No perk on the room, dude. In the house, Firebird. No perking on the room, Hammer. Hasma. Oh, dude, you owe me. I got a message on my thing today. Get Hasma. Dude, you're in the room. Eyebrow, Julie. KJ and MC and Mike B in the room. Mike B in the room. Gotta do some changing on that Philly Uncle Adam. All right. Oof. X Men. What? Ooh, That what happened. It is, it is, it is.
Codex, give me a nickel, A-E-H-R. Look at that swing pick, dudes. 558 by 59 on 102 million shares. Who picked that stuff? Who picked it, dudes? I did. Me. In my research, I could have picked 8,000 stocks. That's what's in the database. 8,000. Which one did I pick? I picked that one. I picked AEHR. I picked it, dudes. I freaking did, dude. I picked that right on the Moolah Jula. Right on the Moolah Jula, I picked that one. New high, AEHR. Let's see where I got that baby at. Swinging like a chain. Here we go. Had a lot of picks down, dude. That's why I didn't go into. Look, down 884. Look at this. 800 Dow Jones Industrials. If you're a member of the Mojo Swing Trade newsletter, you get access to this Google Private Drive. The tabs on the bottom are separated by month going back to the very first newsletter in 2012 that was ever sent out. And in the master sheet, you can look at every single year. There are on the bottom, if you scroll all the way down, 6,300 rows of picks. Look at this, Facebook at 25. AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, at $2.32. So I can say, <clears throat> I'll do my, this is the YouTube uh, ad. <clears throat> hey everybody, Pro Trader Mike, I'm a veteran trader for 30 years in my swing trade newsletter and my phenomenal secret profit system. I picked AMD on 12-28 of 2012. You heard that right. December 28th of 2012 at $2.32. Where is that stock today? Go take a look and then check out that link above. MojoDayTrading.com Peace and keep it profitable. That's like a 30 sec, 10, 15 second Ad, dude, I just did it. Did right there. Go Google, go Google. Let's get out my video, bro. Yo, smash the like so they it goes viral. It goes viral. Let me scroll up. I'll close my eyes. I'll give you another three picks that were amazing. You ready? One, two, three. Stop right here. Uh, let's see. No row. At 228 neurometrics is only three dollars. Ivanhoe Energy at 49 cents is nine dollars and eighty-eight cents. Nailed it. Thank you. What else did I hit big? Oh, this one right here, Envirostar at 397 is 29. Let's scroll up and hit a big one. One, two, three, and stop right here. Cascade Bank Corp, 496 is 22. PRPH at $1.35 is 578. Nice. Rocket Fuel at 870 is 27 cents. OMG. ACI at 40 cents. Arch Coal is 20 bucks. OMG. Last one. Oh, this is the year of 2016. Mankind at 97 cents is four bucks. Twitter. And MVIS Microvision at 205 is 1374. Some good ones. Some good ones in there about it for the day. That's how you trade a bear market. 
You don't trade the stocks that are red. You trade the stocks that are green. What are they? SQQ, UVXY, VIXI, and VXX. Everything else on the screen is red. And the Dow's down 918 points. We love it. We love it. We love it. We do. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question. guys we're out of town that's it done with the show done with another great great day of trading dmtk derm tech's going up pins is going up uber's going up codex is coming back and moderna is going up and btx is going up look at all these stocks going up right now through 12 on btx see it Heinz 12 right here, look. BTX at 12. See it? 11.95 by 12. Moderna, MRNA, up huge. 317, it went through. We picked SPCE this morning at uh, 30. It's 33 on SPCE. There's the Heinz 12 on BTX right there. Beautiful codex came right back. Dump half of it right there, 53. And BTX right there, dumping a little bit. But pins and all these other ones are moving. Let's see what's gaining in the room. Gainers. Give it to me, Mojo Chat Room. There we go. NRXP, CYTK, NVAX, JAGX, JGX, Mojo Swing Pick right there, Jaguar Health, and Zometica. Let's check out those two, see if they're, what they're doing. JAGX, right here, a little Jaguar. Nice spike. And Zometica. That one's getting a spike down here too at 60 cents, so they might follow each other. This one, they're a little bit bigger than the other one, but they both do the same thing, animal health. I told my buddy about it the other day. I said, that's a good little company to go check out. And hopefully he did. Wish is 9.58, that one also took a dump in from 15. You can't wish, dude, that this thing's gonna go to $69 just because a guy on social media says, okay, He's in his car driving and he looks at the speedometer and takes a picture and goes, okay, 69 miles an hour. That's a good target for the stock and he just tweets it a bunch of times. And everyone starts driving in their cars, taking pictures of the speedometer at 69, reiterating that it's gonna go to 69. And when it goes from right here at seven and it goes to freaking 15, and then dumps and goes there, they still, oh, it's going to 69. It's going. It's re the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, dude. They did the same thing on this one, AHT. Bought it here at 283. What, 16 bucks? What happened to AHT? It did a split. What happened to AHT? Take a look. AHT. Ashford Hospitality. It's one for ten. That's what it did. Wow, it's 77. But that's when it was a seven bucks. So yeah. Now everyone's getting crushed. It's a dollar sixty. Holy crap. There you go. It's a lot of people following, man. People that uh, should have sold it. That's destroyed, dude. It's an equivalent of $1.63 right now.
Board at 283, sold it at 705, it went to 770, and now it's at a dollar sixty. All within like a two weeks. Nothing's really changed with the company. It's all manipulation from Wall Street bets and Reddit and all them. Look, they own AMC. I sold it at 65 up here. It went to 72. Everyone's caught in it, dude. If it goes under this right here, 34, 30, 32, and 30, this 32, it's toast, dude. It already went to 31.15. It may open up tomorrow and come all the way back down to 20 bucks. You know how many people on Wall Street bets and Reddit would be destroyed? They already are destroyed. They already own it up here at 58, thinking it was going to go to 200. BTX Heinz 12 nicely, but I don't got many shares. All right, guys, thanks for watching the Mojo Day Trading Show. Listen, at the end, you'll see some other uh, videos pop up. Feel free to watch them. Always feel free to contact me. Leave me a thumbs up and a like. And peace. Keep it profitable. I'll see you on the next show. Later.